Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. So far, about 20 medical marijuana dispensaries have opened in Florida. Knox Cannabis Dispensary in the state capitol is the newest. Walking into the store, patients more likely to be reminded of a genius bar in an Apple store and coming to purchase a Schedule One drug. We wanted to create a space where everyone could feel very comfortable. Uh, we, we wanted to make sure that our staff was very compassionate and empathetic for our patients. With some counties and cities still enforcing moratoriums on dispensaries, Bruce Knox, co-founder of Knox Medical, believes a large amount of their customers will be stopping in from out of town. From, you know, the Panhandle West or East, uh, for that matter. Just shy of 1,000 physicians in Florida are registered to prescribe medical marijuana. Dr. Lucas Coberta says for him the process costs $1,000, but he's excited to see how his epileptic patients respond to the new treatments. I'm in because uh, I want to be uh, the one who helps my patients uh, with with all uh, possible means available. Even though the 90-day waiting period was removed from the final law, patients are still waiting upwards to a month to get their cards. Sandy Rivera, senior manager at Knox, says when the 90-day wait was removed, it created a backlog of patients, but she doesn't believe it'll last. When you have a whole bunch of patients all at once sending in their applications, of course, it's going to bottleneck at some point in time. As of now, there are 26,810 card-holding patients in the state, according to the Department of Health. The latest patient and physician counts will be announced Friday. You can check for a doctor in your area on the Office of Medical Marijuana Use website. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.